Hey everyone, it's James here at Seton. I wanted to show you our movie library and gallery features inside of the Seton Companion services and the Seton Companion and a way to beautify your native movie library inside of Windows Media Center. So first let's take a look at my movie collection. So we can see here it's right on my desktop under movies. I have a bunch of subfolders in here each with a, a movie file inside of it. Uh, now I might have recorded but these are my local here. Um, so you can see I have all my different movie files inside of here. But there's really no, nothing else to that. Um, so if you go inside of Windows Media Center and add that movie folder into your movie library, you can see that I have some recorded um, television, which are movies, but I have all my local files and they just show up with blanks on them with the name of the folder on them. And that's no good because when you select one, you don't get any synopsis or anything like that. So let's go and take a look what it looks like right now inside of the Seton Companion app. So if I go into my gallery, same thing. I only get my recorded shows in here and I haven't specified where my uh, movies are at locally yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look, look at the Seton Companion services config and then we can actually go ahead and set the library. So let's go ahead and do that now and you just hit library then movies and we'll go ahead and add a folder so here's my movie folder and now under advanced there's a bunch of other settings so for instance I want to create Windows 7 Media Center uh, metadata files I also want to rename some stuff you can also go ahead and specify what artwork you want to download and underneath network here you can also set your username and password if you're on a network share um, if so desired so let's go ahead and save these settings I'll go ahead and close this Now we'll go back to our movies folder and see automatically right away uh, we've gone ahead and pulled all of the artwork and also the metadata as well for all of these. You can see now the artwork's kind of showing up here as well. So let's go ahead and see how that affects our applications. So first let's go ahead and take a look at Windows Media Center. So we'll go ahead and pop up the movie library and what you can see right away is that now you have full artwork and also if I go ahead and select one of these so let's say this I have the full description as well which is nice so now we have metadata for not only our recorded but we also have metadata for our local as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the seat and companion apps as well here and here we'll go ahead and launch it again and connect up. And now what we can see here is that inside of the movie gallery, it's already populated with uh, that we have 16 new movies. So we can go ahead and select that there. And you can see we get nice high resolution artwork right inside of there. And still, if we go ahead and go over to titles, you still have your locals like your, your crank and things like that that I've recorded off of TV. So you can go in here, start playback on your HTPC. Um, browse the cast and crew while you're there or do whatever you need to do I even go to the remote so there's a quick look at the movie library and movie gallery features in the Seton Companion um, services and the Seton Companion apps if you have any questions feel free to contact us over at the greenbutton.tv forums thanks